A horrifying scene in Reading where neighbors walked out their front doors to find bodies on the sidewalk. Police say three young men were killed in a shooting, leaving many in a city already rocked by violence in shock. Good evening once again. I'm Wendy Davis. Rob Vaughn has the night off. Moments ago, 69 News spoke to the family of one of the men killed in last night's shooting in the 600 block of Moss Street. They're devastated. And as for police, they're still searching for clues in this tragedy as many wondering what's being done to stop the violence. We have live team coverage for you tonight. We're going to start with WFMC's Katira Winfrey. She is live at Reading Police Headquarters. Katira. Wendy, police say all of the victims were friends, and they say based on the investigation so far, it, it appears that all three were the intended targets. As for why it happened, investigators are still trying to figure that out, and families are grieving. It's just not fair that people sit out here and take these kids' life. Johannes Centrone is mourning the loss of her son, Joel, one of the three men shot and killed Wednesday evening in the 600 block of Mall Street in Reading. Oh, I went crazy. I went crazy. Um, when they told me my son got shot, it was it was a difficult moment. I don't know that God is going to give us the strength, like you know, to pass this hard moment. A memorial made of candles is growing at the scene. Hearts have remained heavy ever since the shooting, as friends mourn and lean on each other. All three victims were friends. Uh, they were together in the same area in the block at the time of the shooting. Police say Marley Alonzo and Joel Cintron died at the scene. The third victim, Omar Harris, died at the hospital hours later. I don't have no words. I just pray to God that this violence stop. Police haven't said how many shots were fired, only that each victim had been shot several times. At this point, police say neighbors shouldn't be afraid. They say they believe the three friends were targeted, but can't say why. The investigators are working around the clock, uh, doing the best they can right now to garner as much information they can. And police say despite the amount of shots fired, no bystanders were hit. However, one home on the block was struck by a bullet. Reporting live in Reading, Katira Winfrey, 69 News.